Hey, Blue. Blue's life is a walk in the park. Can you shake? Fetch, a dip in the water, and endless love for his mom, Sandy. Thank you. He had the willingness to live. Um, he had the ability to forgive. He's come a long way from fall 2015 when he was found badly injured, his mouth taped shut. He still has nightmares. Um, every day he at least has one where he whimpers and cries out. At the time, donations and adoption requests flooded the Bethel Animal Hospital. One of the first people to pick up the phone was Sandy in Western Maine. Good boy, sit. Blue was loved then and he's loved now by his new mom and some 5,000 plus Instagram followers. I, I'm trying to be proactive and take his story and show people, you know, that he's moved on and we all can learn something from that. It's Sandy's way of keeping Blue's supporters up to date. The shy dog lover would rather be behind the camera. She and Blue are leaving a bad beginning behind them and focusing on the adventures ahead. Good job. To the people who did this Good to Blue, job, you know, buddy. we never found out the person that um, abused him, but this is justice. You know, him going and meeting people and um, showing them that he's got a good life and he's helping others. So Blue's abuse case is still an open and active investigation. Sandy spends a lot of her time traveling around the state with Blue and educating people on pit bulls and the mother-son duo is actually looking to become a service team Aww. soon. They're going to go to nursery homes and hospitals and whatnot. It, it didn't even seem like there would be a happy ending to this story three years ago. I know. And so it's so great to go back now and look and see whatever happened to that and he's dog. He's the so. sweetest dog. Yeah. He's so sweet. Oh, it just great. makes your stomach hurt hearing the nightmares that he still has right. and the scarring that's still I visible. Know.